the viewers around the world. This is CGTN special live streaming. I'm now on the Yu Garden, the Shanghai's iconic landmark. And this the Yu Garden used to be a private garden and is next to Cheng Huang Miao. And in the Asian times, it is very crowded and uh, during different festive occasions. And nowadays, it is also very crowded. As you can see, a lot of people are around me. Uh, for a lantern fair this year, because each year Yu Yuan Garden will hold a grand lantern fair to celebrate the coming new year. And this year, the, uh, they have a special theme. That's why they, uh, we can see a lot of people are here to uh, take pictures, to visit this place. And today, we are also going to explore the secret uh, behind its popularity. And today I'm also pleased to be joined by Wang Zihang, a citizen in Shanghai. Hello, Zihang. Hi, Please ben. say hello to our audience around the world. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Leroy Wang Zihang. It's really exciting to be here today at Yu Yan. And I just can't wait to take the tour with you guys together. Well, Su Zihang, I, know, I cannot, cannot help yeah. noticing your hat, which is very beautiful. It's very special. Yeah. So can you tell us something about this? So actually, this hat is really popular right now. As you can see, there are a lot of people wearing it, right? So this hat is called the rabbit tiger hat. Rabbit as, tiger hat. Yeah. Oh. As you can see, it's a combination of a tiger and a rabbit, right? So we know that this year, is 2022, is the, tiger, uh, is the year of tiger. And the next year, the coming year, would be the year of rabbit. rabbit right. So a uh, rabbit on top of a tiger, it represents that a farewell to the old year and a greetings to the new year. Right, in Chinese we say yin xin, Yeah, right? And yin also xin. I have something special. So this lantern, this yeah. cute little rabbit lantern is extremely popular these days and the, uh, the local de uh, the department told me that it's already out of stock and they are asking the factories yeah. to produce them to meet the market demand. It's, you can see that it's, it's, really, it's adorable. really adorable. And the dear, before we, uh, we um, uh, our live streaming, a lot of people came to ask us yeah. where to buy it and say, sorry, uh, you can't get it. Anymore. Yeah, it is out of stock. So probably later they will ask the factory will uh, produce more and meet yeah. the market demand. Look at so, it. Yeah. So since I, um, since this year you mentioned mm -hmm. the coming new year is uh, the year of the rabbit. So how yeah. about we play a little game before we start our exploration sure. today? So how about we? Uh, the game is we uh, say Cheng mm -hmm. with the character mm -hmm. Tu in it because in Chinese Tu means rabbit, okay? Yeah. So I will start. Let me think one of them. Uh, so what about Shou Zhu Dai Tu? Okay, good one. Um, uh, then Da uh, Zhan Hong Tu. Well, tu. Yeah. yes, Da Zhan Hong Tu. Tu also has the same uh, pronunciation of yeah. Tu. So Yang Mei Tu Xi. Ah, then Tu. Well, that's also a good one. So I think we should stop here. Yeah. I, I'm really yeah. I cannot brain cannot drain anymore. <laughs> right. So just now we say we we said that this year is the uh, the year the of the, uh, the coming new year is the year of the rabbit. And as you probably see, the huge giant uh, lantern set behind us is also we can see the shape of a rabbit. So uh, yeah. let's talk about this lantern set. So what do you think this lantern set represents? So we see two different kinds of animals, yeah. right? Yeah, I see there is a well at the side of this rabbit. The well is from some ancient history stories, right? Right. So in the uh, we see the uh, the rabbit is sort of like a uh, like a chang do, oh, do, right. do, do you see the resemblance? Yeah, 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 right. yeah. They have the ribbons yeah, around. Yeah, the shape of it. Yeah, the shape of it is sort of like chang -e. So chang -e in chi in Chinese is chang -e. in English is sort of like moon goddess. Mm -hmm. uh, the chang -e has a rabbit and mm -hmm. they live in the palace on the moon. Oh, so yeah, I see that. Do, uh, so what do you think of the, the animal whip. on the right? That, <laughs> that's the whale. Well, yes, yeah. yeah, it's sort of like a whale, but uh, I did some research. Uh, yeah. It's Kuntong. It's actually mm. the... It's uh, not a whale. Yeah, it's ancient beast from, the, from Shanghai Jing, uh, one of the most important uh, pieces of Chinese literature. It also contains a lot of uh, uh, Chinese mythology. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so that's also one of the very important themes this year. So this year, many of the lanterns, as we are going to explore, 
they are inspired by the book by the Shanghai book. Jing. Yeah, the so the, yeah. So the Kun Peng you just okay. now you mentioned is it's 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 a uh, like a whale, but actually Kun Peng is an Asian beast. Has the sort of like a mixture of uh, fish and oh, yes. bird. Oh. Uh, so you see the, the the fins is sort of like a wing, more like a oh, wing. So it does not live in the sea, but in the sky. Yes, oh. yeah, exactly. So uh, my interpretation of this giant lantern set is that uh, this represents, because we know that China's uh, lunar mission is also named yeah. after Chang'e. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, my interpretation is that the rabbit means uh, uh, China's, uh, Chinese people's dreams towards the moon. And the Kun Peng represents the Chinese culture. So it's sort of like a, like a, uh, represents China's, uh, uh, you know, quest to the moon. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, so that's, that's my, a perfect that's, interpretation. That, that's just my, my interpretation, but yeah. we can, maybe you, uh, other people have different, uh, have other interpretations. Yeah, so, so this is the, one of the major lantern sets. What uh, a masterpiece. Is, yeah, it's, it, indeed, a masterpiece. All right, so now let's move to, so this is just the first stop, and as we, uh, we are going to explore, Many, many more. Just now, I mentioned the Shanghai Jing yeah. is one uh, this year's major theme, and we are going to explore a lot of other uh, ancient creature creatures yeah. uh, from the book. So, uh, in here, uh, Zhang, I'm wondering uh, because Yu Garden is sort of like a landmark in mm -hmm. Shanghai, and you lived in Shanghai for how many years? Um, three years. Three years. Yeah. So, you must have come to Yuyuan before, right? Yeah, actually. I'm going to tell you a fun fact about myself. The first uh -huh. time I tried to go to Yu Market, when, it was when I was a kid. I was like around 12, so I was on my own. And I tried to visit this place to see what's in it. But I ended up, you know, circling around the, the, this garden at the outer side. So I never find the you, you entrance. Didn't in. Yeah, I didn't come in. I didn't get, get in there. Because it was so crowded, and you know, when I get off the subway, I just lost my direction. But, but I don't know where to go. It's understandable because you were just a like 12, 13 year old teenager. Yeah, right? and also, you know, even back then, like a decade ago, it it was so popular. Right. Yeah. So it's definitely the a must go place if you come exactly. to Exactly. Yeah, it's a must go. Yeah, and uh, so how? About how will you spend the Chinese festival this year? So will you stay oh. in Shanghai or...? So last year I invited my whole family to come to Shanghai and we spent New Year here. But this year, you know, as we just lift up the restrictions around COVID, so I'm gonna go home, yeah. Right, so this is also, I think, uh, we've already seen that many people, they will uh, go home to spend festivals and reunite with their families after all this. So, ladies and gentlemen, now what we are entering the main venue of this year's Lantern Fair. As you probably wow. see, it's quite beautiful. We have a lot of lantern sets, flowers, trees, uh, rabbits. It's very crowded, and we've already seen many, many people are on the bridge, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you know the name of this bridge? Um, Jiu Chu Chiao. Right, Jiu yeah. Chu Chiao, or in English we can call it the Bridge of Non Turnings because uh -huh. it has non turns. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm wondering, do you know the meaning? Uh, I mean, the why people want to, you know, go to Jiu Chu Chiao. So, what's the meaning behind the the, the Bridge of Non Turnings? I bet there must I will be. Give a... You a, I will give you a clue. So, yeah. what? What does the, ca the the number nine means in Chinese culture? Nine is a really good number, from it's, my personal exactly. understanding. Exactly, nine is the largest yeah. number, you know, among oh, all yeah. numbers, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. in Chinese, it represents good luck. It represents nobility, mm. and we see a lot of nine. Because, for example, in 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 the in the, uh, in the palace museum, uh, a lot of uh, and, and so the, the you know dragon. The dragon has nine songs. songs. Yeah. Right, exactly. So, Jiu Chu Chao, it means, uh, so also the number means it, the, the bridge represents good luck and also good wishes. And uh, 
because it has a lot of crossings, so it also has a、uh, meaning of when you walk on the bridge、uh-huh. and walk walk on so many turnings, you already send away those you know turnings means difficulties. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Send、exactly. away those difficulties. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, for, so, so, so. It's actually the, like you know. Our lives, you know, yeah, you, so you've the, got a lot of turnings,、so so、and eventually you get to the end. Yeah. So the coming new year, you will, your life will be, you know, more smooth. Will be. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why I, everyone wants to go on the bridge of non-turning. So that's also this, and also because this year the major lantern fairs are around non,、uh, the the Jiu Chu Chao, the bridge of non-turning. So that's why other people, you probably you will have a better view, you know, a、yeah. closer view. Uh, of this lantern thing. Okay, I see those, you know, those, those, those beasts just over the bridge. Yeah. So、that? now we are going to take our audience. We are going to find a better, you know, better view、Position、to to 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 enjoy the different beasts from Shanghai Zoo. So speaking of, you know, the classic of mountains and seas. When I first, you know,、um, get to see this. Book. I thought it was talking about the landscapes in China, the mountains, the seas. Exactly, but, that's true. But it turned out to be talking about all those fantastic beasts in China. Well, it also it、uh, so、serves like a geographical book because、uh, it it talks about over 500 mountains and、yeah. 300 channels. So that's why it's called the classic of mountains、oh, and the seas.、Oh, okay. And、uh, all those ancient beasts, they live. Uh, you know, around、uh, yeah. the mountains and the sea, so that's why it also has a lot of uh, 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 creatures. And、uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are now. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now at a very beautiful view of the. Uh, major exhibition of this year's Lantern Fair. We see a lot of uh, uh, beasts there. So、uh, I think、uh, I will start introducing the, some of them. Okay.、Uh-huh. So let's start with、uh, this one. I will ask my camera.、Uh, let's start with this one.、Uh, so can you guess what's the name of this creature, of this animal, ancient animal? Uh, which one? The, the, the,、oh. the, that one. The one, the, the, the one is holding a flower. Flower is right. Oh,、yeah. okay.、Um, it looks like a cat. Yeah, it, it, indeed, it looks like a cat. Yeah. And its name is quite interesting, and the character is really rare. Its name is called.、Uh, it has two pronunciations. Uh huh. So, so some people argue about this. So, it, it, its、uh, its name is Fei Fei or Pei、uh-huh. Pei. It has two pronunciations, and it, as you said, yes, it's a cat. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's a leopard cat. It's not not like a pet cat. It's a leopard cat.、Uh-oh. So it's、uh, so it's many people say it's、um, so this animal because it's not as fierce as other animals. So many people say it's a pet cat from Shanghai Zoo.、Uh, from he, the he looks friendly. Yeah, he looks friendly. And、uh, now let's go to that dra- dragon-shaped、uh, animal. This one. Uh, the name is called Yinglong, Yinglong,、okay. or Ying Dragon. Dragon. Yes, it's one of the dragons. So, from the you know the size and also the shape of it, you can guess that it's very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> it's much much more powerful than Pei Pei or Pei Pei. So、yeah. Yinglong is one of one one kind of the dragons.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, during so during the fight、uh, between. Huang Di, Emperor Huang,、uh-huh. and the Chiyo,、uh, Chiyo. Ying Long actually helped Huang Di, helped Emperor Huang to win the battle. Really? Yeah. So from the from the, of of course from the his、uh, the Shanghai Zoo from that book. So that's the story of Ying Long, Ying Dragon, and also now let's.、Uh, so we also see another animal next to Ying Long,、uh, to its right,、uh, to its left. Excuse me. Oh, to its left. To its Is left. Is that a? Dragon, fish. Yes, you are right.、Oh, so、okay. from the shape, we can see that it's like a fish, but it's not exactly a fish. The、yeah. the, the head of it is a, a it's, dragon. It's like a dragon, but it has the fish's body. Yes. So it's a, in Chinese we call it long yu. So、oh, it's,、yeah. it's very easy to understand long yu, the、yeah. mixture of dragon and, and fish. fish. Yeah, exactly. 
And now, to uh, to the most left, we have a, another uh, animal that's quite like a lion. Yeah. Do you see, do you see that? That it, one. Uh huh. Can you guess the name of it? I already see the sign. <laughs> oh, so, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, they have signs. It's called Lu Wu, or mm, I, I, I also heard some people call it Lu Yu. Yeah, so uh, this uh, animal is a, a, a. This animal is quite interesting because it's also a very powerful uh, animal based on the size and its shape. Yeah. Uh, so, this animal has a human face, a oh, really? tiger shaped body. None tails things. and the tiger claws. So in Shanghai Jing, in this book, its story is that it's a guardian uh -huh. of the Kunlun Mountain and, and it guards uh -huh. the mountain from uh, different it's from like evil mountain. forces from yeah, entering yeah. the mountain. Yeah. So this one is a, is a so uh, this one is a, we can call it a Rui Shou because it represents the good the good the good side. Yeah. Right? So in Chinese we say Rui Shou, in English is auspicious animals. Suspicious so that's why I also want to tell our viewers around the world in China. So from the Shanghai, you have a lot of beasts. I don't want to call them monsters. No, they're not. You, yeah, because when you when you're talking about monsters, you they are powerful. They are some mo evil. Most, yeah, most of them evil forces. Yeah. But uh, Chinese mythology, we have a lot of beasts. Uh, the, those uh, those animals, they are not. Evil. Yeah, they, yeah are, they are auspicious animals. They represent same, good luck or the brightness. Same. Yeah, right. exactly. They are guarding the happiness for human beings. Yes, exactly. So that's this. So this area is the major uh, exhibition venue of this year's Lantern Fair, and it's quite splendid. I will take a few moments for our audience to enjoy this view. Yeah. You know, actually. These lanterns doesn't only have the shape of the creatures, but it also contains some vivid and exquisite details. You see the furs and the light mm -hmm. in their eyes. Exactly. And when we so before, uh, you know, I think Shanghai Jing really serves as a pool for different kinds of imagination. And, the, and a lot of people argue about this because uh -huh. some people believe that those animals, those auspicious animals, they they are they were real, they <laughs> extinct. But some people say probably it's just a you know because ancient language they are different from the modern language and mm -hmm. that you know we we just, maybe misinterpret yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah because of translation. Some people believe this, but I think reasonable. But I think it, it really depends on how you think of it. You know, I'm a believer, so I choose to believe they are real. <laughs> <laughs> right. So and also it, it really serves as a. I mean, it uh, serves as a rich pool for mm -hmm. all kinds of imaginations. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, nowadays our films, our animations, our uh, a lot of uh, they are they are based on uh, you know the different characters from Shanghai Jing, like Nu Wa, like Tang Gu, you know. Yi. Yeah, just those stories is sort of like uh, in the West they they have the god you know make uh, how uh, different uh, how how the world. Started, but we, in China we also have a different uh, system, different <laughs> yeah. mythology system. Yeah. For example, Han Gu, Hai Tian Chu Yi, Han Gu, the open, they divide the sky and the yeah, earth and, and then you are Bu Tian. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and, and now we see a lot of uh, many, many uh, film works or animation works are uh, adapt. Uh, they got inspirations from those stories. So they factor in these uh, elements of Chinese. Yeah. Uh, Asian creatures. Mm -hmm, exactly. Also, you know, you know the movie Fantastic Beasts and oh, Where to Find right. Them. Yeah. You know, uh, Zhou Wu. I see over there. Uh -huh. Zhou Wu was in the film. Yes, exactly. And it, it was quite popular among foreign audiences because it's it's, it's really lovely and it's, yeah. it seems it's, it, it, it it seems to be extremely powerful or or vicious, but actually it's a good animal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to. Uh, our next stop, and uh, for our audience, if you, uh, I really recommend you to come here to see it with your own eyes. It's quite splendid.
For those of you who just joined us, this is CGTN special live streaming of the upcoming Chinese New Year, and、uh, we are now at Yuyuan Garden in Shanghai. Uh, Yuyuan Garden is、uh, Shanghai's iconic landmark, and uh, uh, as the Spring Festival is around the corner, many many people come here to enjoy the beautiful lantern fairs here. And we just introduced、um, some of the major lantern sets there. This year, the theme of this、uh, of the lantern fair is based on Chinese mythology book Shanghai Jing, or the classic of the mountains and the seas. And now, what we are we are、uh, going to To our next stop, but we can also see that、uh, here they have a lot of different lanterns.、Uh, they have collaborations with different、uh, companies. This one is Oreo. The, you can see the the the, the cloud shaped, and there they also collaborated with Disney, and they also have、uh, some Disney characters、uh, doing activities here. And so, and、uh, now we are going, we are heading towards our next stop, and.、Uh, Let's、uh, check. Let's check out the 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 the, the、oh. vendors.、Uh, yeah, vendors. On the side of the street. Oh, there are a lot of handicrafts. Yes. So this section is also they collaborated and invited a lot of、uh, craftsmen or artists, and you can, we can see that many people are here.、Uh, You know, maybe asking prices of them, and also you can you can customize.、Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, you can customize. For example,、uh, they will、uh, cut your.、Uh, they will make a paper cut. Yeah, paper cut. Your, your, your portrait. Yeah, yeah. Your, per, your portrait. And I see the Chinese mountain. And、uh, we see that here. They have this is sachet in the shape of a rabbit because this year is the、uh, the year of the rabbit. rabbit. So、yeah. every product、uh, based on, you know with the design of rabbit <laughs> is really really popular <laughs> here. And as we move along, probably you see a lot of、uh, people also wearing the hat、uh, just yeah, as just as mine.、Yeah. By the way, can I have the lantern? It, really? Yeah, You're going to、I、take this lantern from me? <laughs>、yeah. Like it's so、uh, cute. It goes go, goes with my hat. All right, all right. You can take it for now. I mean,、okay. for now. <laughs> And also, as we move along, we can see that many people are wearing hanfu、uh, to the yeah. So the reason is because、uh, I also talked to some hanfu lovers yesterday because、uh-huh. you can see a lot of them are wearing hanfu. They say that because the setting, the lantern is quite.、Uh, You know, it just go with Hanfu. So yeah. They, the Hanfu lovers still be here, and also they believe that this is a kind of, a, uh, a, you know, the Chinese style. Say, the, the Chinese style, and also means the confidence of our, of our culture. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because more, we do see that more and more, especially teenagers, young people, they love Hanfu. Yeah, it's like、yeah. people are trying to pick it up. Like、yeah. people are getting prouder of presenting themselves in Hanfu. Yeah. And here. Uh, it's quite interesting. I, we can see there they have a giant rabbit lent, a rabbit hand. So this is a. <laughs> wait, so is the, that a rabbit? Sort of, sort of like interactive or like a like a like a game where you touch the hand. Yeah. Yeah. They will give you an envelope. Do you want to try?、Uh, I already tried yesterday.、Oh. You can have a try. I already tried it yesterday. You can have a try. Okay, you touch、oh. the. Okay. First, you need to scan a QR code. You want me to scan something?、Uh, you need to scan a QR okay, code and to、it. participate in the activities. Anyway, yeah. Please have a try. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna log in. Okay, got it. Okay, hi rabbit. Hi, can I shake 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 your hand? Hi. Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, look at this. Dragon and rabbits. Yeah. So this is also the design of this year. Just now we we've seen that lanterns,、yeah. right? Oh, and there's a you know a creature from Shanghai Jing. What what animals? 
So what's what's the name of this creature? It looks like a Zhou Wu. This is Zhou Wu. Isn't it? <laughs> I have. I, it, it looks sorry. like tiger and. Yeah. Or it could be the nine tails creature you just introduced. Lu Wu. Oh, or Lu Wu. Yeah, Lu Wu. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it's, it's Lu Wu. Yeah. Lu Wu. Or yeah. Lu Look at the nine tails. Nine tails. Yeah. I just mentioned. Yes. Exactly. All right. Oh, wow. let's, let's move uh, towards our next stop. I think. I think my guest base also still wants to touch more of this rabbit uh, hand. This year, the Lantern Fair, the Youth Garden, is really, really popular. Before I, uh, before our live streaming today, I already want to be here mm -hmm. because I read a lot of, uh, you know, uh, tweets and also different Post. posts uh, on yeah. different platforms of social media. And yeah, I saw that as about well. This place about different statues, and now we are seeing something that's quite interesting. That's really splendid. it looks like a band. It, it's a band? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a band. They have, it's, it, 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 it's a band. And we see there are five characters. They're playing Chinese instruments. Yes. And uh, let, let's, uh, so let's guess what kind of, because I think there are five different kinds of yeah. animals. So let's guess what kind of animals <laughs> are there. So the, the middle one, is no doubt rabbit. Yeah, of course right? it no should be rabbit. rabbit. It's, most, it's the easiest one to guess. And on the left, on the left, I think this is a dog, right? Oh, right. It's a dog because from the hat, yeah, uh, he is wearing. It's a dog, exactly. And dog in Chinese, we have the the the, the, the meaning of loyalty. Oh yeah, loyalty, loyalty and honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, behind the dog. That one is also easy to recognize <laughs> because it has a head of a bianfu of the bat. Yeah, bat. Yeah, and also in Chinese culture, because bianfu, fu, the also pronunciation. Ha, the pronunciation is the same as fu, which means good, uh, good luck or blessings. Mm -hmm. So bianfu in Chinese culture is actually really a good animal. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let's I think the the corner at the right corner, that one, it's a turtle. <laughs> Let's see. I I think it's a turtle because it, it has turtle? the shell. Oh you know? right. Yeah, just looking at the hat. Yeah. Oh right. Yes, that's easy that's a, from the hat. That's easy to recognize. It's a turtle, and turtle in Chinese culture it means longevity. Yeah, because longevity. It's very very yeah. long. It represents longevity. And the last one here. This one, I, the, what is it? <laughs> apparently, it's a bird. Yeah, you but see what the, type the, the of bird? Of it. It's, it, can, can you see that? It's 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 a magpie. In Chinese, we call xi chue because <laughs> because when you are when you see any kind of bird in a festive occasion, uh -huh. it must be xi chue because xi uh chue -huh. xi means happiness. Mm -hmm. So magpie in Chinese culture actually is a happy. It's a bird of happiness. Yeah, so that makes it, sense. It, yeah, so it's a bird of happiness. It's a Good uh, represents something good. Uh, represents blessings and also good wishes towards the new year. So we see he, here uh, they have uh, have a name called Wu Xi Yue Dui, the a band of five happiness. <laughs> if, if I'm right, yeah, the band of five happiness. So different uh, five animals. They represent five very good uh, blessings, wishes. Wishes, blessings yeah. in Chinese culture. And I'll ask my cameraman to turn around and see here we see we have a very beautiful tree. And I would like to call this tree the tree of uh, good luck. A good luck. I see a lot of people like are praying around here. Yeah, we see many, uh, we see a lot of red ribbons. Oh yeah, the ribbons. Around oh. the tree. And that's if you go to uh, many temples uh, in China, you will see people will tie red ribbons uh, uh, around the tree for good blessings. And we see, you can see the different, you know, good wishes. Some uh, wish, wish, the, wish wealth, some yeah. wish for, wish for uh, health. And for promotion. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your 
wishes, uh, you know, wishes for the new year? No, for yourself, I mean. For myself, uh, first of all, I'd like to be healthy. Mm-hmm. And second, I want to be, you know, happy, of course, and hope everything goes as my plan. Yeah. You see, a lot of people are riding on these red ribbons. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll take a few minutes to let our audience see this beautiful tree and also the, ha- the band of five happiness in here. Yeah. Oh. And the staff just told me that they have a non-player character in the gar- uh, in the U Garden. This is the official non-player character. They will uh, be here every night uh, from time to time and interact with the different uh, with audience. It's very beautiful. And what character do you think? Uh, She's playing. She's playing. It's definitely Chang'e. It's Chang'e, but yeah. I don't think Chang'e has the has the has the you know year of rabbit years. Probably it's just a decoration. Chang'e has a rabbit hair as well. Staff, the staff told me it's a Yu Tu. It's yeah. actually a Yu Tu. It's a rabbit. Oh. Right? You think she is a rabbit? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense as well. Wow, she's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And we see many people are taking pictures for them. Yeah, you can see this is really popular. It's really crowded, and I think that represents the normal life. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm really happy to see people are willing to come out and you know celebrate this festival. And also, this, this is a, it's a good occasion to promote traditional culture. Yeah. Right. And we see not only you know many many young people are here, so that's quite. Uh, I think you know our traditional culture really has the power to last into time. Now, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching to the end of our live stream today. So after. I think we are approaching to the end of our live streaming today. So after the so it's a hall. Yes. After today's tour, because we are seeing a lot of a uh, lot of lanterns. We have, we have rabbit lanterns. We yeah. Have, uh, lanterns of the Asian so, animals. So yeah. So what do you think of the the lantern fair this year? I think it's really a I'd say a lifetime experience because these. Was not something I expected. It's out of my expectation, and you, you see all these colorful and vivid lanterns. It just makes me so happy, and it, it makes me feel like, oh, finally, we are living a normal life now. And yeah, exactly. And if you have the opportunity to come to Shanghai, I really recommend you to go to Yu Garden yourself to see the amazing lantern fairs. Uh, at this place, and also Zhang, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for and having you can, me. I think uh, <laughs> you can keep the cute little rabbit lantern. This is really popular, so yeah. cherish it. It's a, it's I, a, I will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for our audience to join this special live streaming, and we wish you a very happy Chinese New Year. Yeah, uh, happy, happy New Year. Chinese happy New, New Year, year to you. To you. Uh, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.